It's all you, brother. All right, here we go. Shooting from the blue lane. Seated number seven. Season 14 Juniors World Champion from Ro Royal, Front Royal, Virginia, Austin Cameron. And in the red lane, seated number 10 from Barry Gold, Arizona, Sebastian Barger. And, and this match is gonna be a barn burner because you got a guy in Sebastian who made it out of pool play for the first time. Oh my God, Finn, you have no idea what it felt like for me to walk up and go, Hey, Sebastian, can I talk to you for a second? He's just staring at me like, am I in trouble? What did I do? And I'm like, <laughs> so there's this thing tomorrow. <laughs> so, well, talk about that. Getting out of, how many players did he have to get through out of pool play to get to this spot? So he had to make it out of pool play, which by, it's the first time he's ever made it out of pool play. Yeah. He's 17 years old. He's a junior. He's never made it out of pool play. He makes it out of pool play in Branson, and he played like... Freaking, I think he won, went through like 10 or 11 people yeah. to get to the point where I was like, hey, you made it for $20,000 tomorrow. You want to play? Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, count me in. Go ahead. Uh, could you guys hook me up with a jersey? Because I didn't bring any. <laughs> Mom is back there. I'm like, Mom, take a deep breath. You're okay. Boy, and I, Calm down. And I'll tell you something. You have seen the face there that's pitching against him. Just as, as Rich described Maggie earlier, stone cold, no emotion whatsoever. And a guy that is just lights out and has been all season 16 out of SVC. Again, the SVC team is here to back up our man Austin Cameron. An ACO veteran at such a young age, and a guy who has just been blowing it up. These guys have done their down and back. We're going to turn things over to LaBelle. He's our head official and our chief whistleblower. It's time to check and make sure they're ready to go. So not only is Austin Cameron an ACO vet, but he's also who won World Singles yesterday. That's how he made his spot. Yeah, all I have to do is go through everybody and win. No, no, no worries, no worries. He was originally cast to be part of the original 20 and for some reason wasn't able to do it because he wasn't sure he's was gonna be able to make it to Branson. So he came really, he had to find the hardest possible way to get here and he's just left a little bit of an opening for Sebastian who takes the first point in the Tahoe Jerky Meatheads in the fan zone on the red side. Loving that initial couple of points that he takes. And, we, you know, we talked a lot about the shots, and, you know, we saw Isaac Hurd, who spins the bag in between just to relax. But is there anybody better at that flop shot that we talked about than Austin Cameron? Honestly, it, it's Austin's shot. It's what his preferred shot is. Um, Austin will tell you I commentate him often, and I get very frustrated because he likes to do it when it's not working for him. Um, but he's very consistent at it, and he likes it a lot. And I hope, Sebastian, um, you know, I'd love for y'all to see how good it is, but Sebastian keeps clearing the board like this, you're not going to see it. Boy, and look how fast he's firing. I mean, and, and Austin is a pretty quick player, but... Let the bag speak for itself. Oh, he did it. He snuck it around those two bags. What is the answer? It's no answer. Four on the board, four in the hole. That is big. That's huge. Um, if you can hear them, because I know you can, the taco turkey meatheads over there in that corner are so loud. They are so proud of Sebastian, and they have every right to be, 100%. Boy, and, you know, and you got to love that, too, because you, you talk about home court advantage, which great is this is an ACL home court for every single player here, but you feel it. You, I mean, the hair on my arms was standing up a couple times. What did I just look at you? I'm like, I didn't know my hair could stand that high on my arms, man. <laughs> but I think Austin right here, going back, Austin is a world champion from season 14 for juniors, okay? When I watched him win that game, the amount of energy that he brought to that court on his side 
is how he won that game. And I think he's got to find it here because if he's going to let them distract him, he's going to be in trouble. And I'm going to tell you something right now. We've seen some players take a little bit of time to try to get their groove back. It may be too late when it comes time. Sebastian is just firing lights out. This is a jailbreak to this point. It is. You've got, um, we had three juniors in this. Oh, yeah. Also needs to take advantage. That's like the first bag Sebastian's missed in several frames. Mm -hmm. Austin's slowing down. That's what needs to happen. I think that's part of the problem. Austin's trying to rush way too much because Sebastian's just firing so fast. Well, and you know what's funny is we sit here and they can't hear us, but we sort of get into the vibe of the whole thing. And when they get quiet, you just hear the, the pellets in the bag bouncing around and sh shuffling around. All right, you know what? We're the loudmouth and cat up here in the booth, but boy, the quiet is, is screaming volumes, Rich, isn't it? <laughs> screaming volumes indeed. I, I, to tell the truth, guys, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to join you for this match down here. I cannot hear a thing that's going on. <laughs> this group is so loud, I cannot hear myself think. And here comes that crawl, I bet you. Oh. oh! And he tried that flop shot and it just didn't happen. I don't, honestly, I was kind of questioning it. I don't know if he really was trying to flop or if he was trying to airmail in that situation. I'm going to airmail because I don't have a flop. And he could have gotten four out of it, but the smart move would have been trying to flop, make sure it stayed at play at least, and get you some points on the board. Well, you know, and that's a moment, Rich, to remember later to ask him about. Was that supposed to be a flop shot or was he trying to airmail? Because if he was trying to airmail, we would expect that he would airmail. Feeling a little bit of that groove there. But boy, I'll tell you something, I, and I've never seen Sebastian play in my entire life in the ACO. He's a guy that just can't, this is the Cinderella story, if there is one. I don't, I don't want to go full Bill Murray on you here, but. Uh... I agree completely. Um, the first time I've ever really seen, I know, so I've seen Sebastian around and things of that sort, but I've actually never seen him play. He played my husband yesterday. Yeah. He had Tanner down like 11 to two. And I'm like, what is going on? Uh, there's another four bagger there. And, and I'll tell you, if he were able to pull this off and walk away with that big check in a borrowed jersey, right? I don't know that there's a bigger story in all of Cornhole. He came over to me earlier and he's like, hey, Kat, do you got a jersey? You know, I need my jersey, whatever. What am I going to wear? So I get it. And he's like, Kat, it's a little tight. Do you have another one? I'm like, I'm really sorry. I don't, like, I don't have a any other jerseys and he's like it's okay i'll make it work well apparently yeah, it's working he's making time. it work he might want to wear this one all the time he just uh, uh, honestly not one of his bags is going to have to worry about a sunburn because most of them are spending time under the board right <laughs> jesus there's the shot you expect to see from austin and again repping out of svc cornhole who we've already seen now Okay, so he takes, takes the step to the side. Is he going to try to sneak it into the left or roll it up over? He is. He's going to try and sneak it in. And he does. And you see the SVC family there cheering him on. The thing that we need to remember here is that Austin has to take advantage of every break that Sebastian's going to give him. And to do that, he's got to play smart. He's got to make the shot with the percentage of the best outcome. Well, I don't think that first bag would fall into that category in the least. Not at all. I think you honestly oh. were trying to block. block That's, I don't know that I've ever seen him do that. I don't think I've ever seen him do that. I don't either. Oh, my God, look at that. Now it's almost taunting. Austin has to finish up here. He has to. Come on, bro. All right. A little bit of a window. He's throwing sticky side down. It falls in. I don't know if you could hear that, but Sebastian goes, come on, bro, like, put the bag in the hole. Yeah. Oh! oh. I don't know that. Stupid. Now, I'm guessing the stupid comment was Sebastian critiquing himself. It was. Because I don't know that... Uh, Austin has said one word. I, we didn't even bother putting a mic on him because we knew. Oh. oh, a dirty bag that needs to be taken out by Chris Clark, one of our officials here with the American Cornhole Organization. He's going to readjust the board to make sure we are exactly where we need to be, 27 feet, edge to edge. Sebastian was definitely saying stupid to himself because he went for the push. He had a huge chance there. 
to make almost close out this game. And he went sticky and it just hopped on him and it didn't close like he needed to. All right, so now you're looking at the board. He puts a really nice bag there to force the hand for Austin. Austin. No, he's got that shot. He's gonna step out. What Sebastian wants to do here is go straight in between those bags on that slick side and push his bag right up in the middle. Ooh. He misses, but it was an okay miss because he at least bag. pulled Austin out the way. Out of play, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, we looked at that 15 to four lead prior to this frame. It, it changes to 15, six. Is there such thing as too big of a lead? Never. No? Not at all. If you can, don't get me wrong. You have to minimize your mistakes when you are at this point. You should always minimize your mistakes, but it becomes way more important. I just saw Austin look at the scoreboard, and I've never seen Austin give up ever, and he keeps glancing at the scoreboard, and I think at this point he really needs to not look at the scoreboard and go put the bag in the hole. All right, just plan that attack and execute it, and he's running sticky side down, so he's throwing a hard bag to get it to make that move because as we've talked about with this equipment, these, these OG bags, these old school bags, really stick and really slide. And look right there around the hole. Typically in your backyard game, two of those bags have already fallen in the hole. For sure. Um, the benefit that Austin has with these bags is that he does throw a extremely sticky bag compared to most of the bags on the market nowadays. And he can do that all day, every day. Right there. Almost an eclipse of the hole. Oh, and he oh just gave him a... Uh, Little gifted Sebastian. Don't think. If I'm me, that place, and I'm Sebastian, the thought process that went through my head is I put this bag on the board. The way that these bags are, the way that the OG bags play, those bags aren't going. They're pinched, they're stuck. And unfortunately, Sebastian hits the board a little bit too hard and a little too close to the hole, and he's going to give um, Austin more points. But I would say Austin just gave him a a little bit of a gift back there with that first bag and he didn't take advantage of it. Austin Cameron known to the SVC team and the entire ACO is Audi. Sebastian becoming known to the entire ACO very quickly. Yeah, that was a great bag out of Sebastian. He played off of Austin's bag and kind of hung on the side of the hole trying to challenge Austin. Are you going to try and sneak around me or are you just going to take me with you? I'll show you. The final bag. Left up, so no blood, no foul on that one. Little fro, as they call Sebastian. Back this way. I think Sebastian's getting a little frustrated. He's allowed Austin to score points on him, which, you know, we knew was eventually going to happen. But he's not finishing up with that last bag. Well, I think, and, and maybe we'll be able to get some insight from Rich, who is working center court, but I, I wonder if, Rich, if there's, that was a little head gamesmanship right there, the adjustment of the board. I think Austin knows what he's up against, but I think asking for that board adjustment might have been a little bit of a head game. All right, Rich, so the question becomes, was that a little bit of a head game there from Austin? Oh, and he fires that airmail. It seems like momentum shifted just there with the board shift. It, it very well could be, but you could tell wow. by the look on his face that he is, and the pumping of his hands after that, that maybe this is a head game. Maybe he's taking or trying to take on the inexperience of somebody who isn't used to being in this position and putting a little added pressure on him. Well, we asked the question earlier, Kat, is there such thing as too big of a lead? You said absolutely not, and you have been proven right again. <laughs> I won't mention that to Tanner, but 15-14, a much tighter game than we were expecting based on the jailbreak that was the beginning of this match. Oh, my goodness, and that's the absolute last thing that you want to have happen right now. You made the comment earlier that we didn't Mike Austin. I don't know if you could hear him, but he turned around and he said, come on because that right there is an open opportunity for Austin to get three more points. And it already is in Sebastian's head. That's the second bag that we've seen Sebastian throw short. Thank you. Boy, but to come back, I, yeah, you know, and again, you, you have to make certain comparisons to shake off a terrible golf shot, and then you've got much more time to get to the next ball and hit it. And look, the, the ability to do what he just did is amazing. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, did you hear him? Don't you dare. He knew it. I think I might uh, be detecting a couple of beads of sweat coming from the red lane. I would say definitely. And you need to be. Austin is a very experienced player. Even at his age, he's super experienced. He's been in this limelight way too many times to ever count him out. I think he's going up. Yeah. I was just going to say, he took I mean, that was see a, it in his arm. Yeah. And that was a uh, no guts, no glory sort of thing. He said, you know what? I got a two-point lead. Let's, let's see if we can't hammer this thing shut. Well, not even just that, but you've taken all these chances to get that lead back. Take every chance you can get. Nope. He's not happy with it, but it's not no, a horrible it's leave. Not a bad defensive move, no. Well, look at how far out he stuck oh to get that. Called it up over the top. A timeout now being called. Austin Cameron, who won the Branson Major singles to get into this $20,000 tournament. So, so so, Austin came down here to see how much room that he had for an airmail with his last bag there. And the back half of the hole is open, but he's got the front clogged and made him decide to hold up instead. He had to make a smart decision here. He's got one bag off the back of the board. He could not make a bad decision here. Oh, my God. What a shot. What a finish to a game I don't think anybody saw coming out of nowhere. Yesterday, his first time out of pool play, and he takes out the number one singles champion for the entire weekend. It is a win, and you are in. You lose, and you go home. Let's find out the emotion on the floor. Oh my Rich, God. what is going on? I know you can't hear me, but man, oh man. We have to give him a second. <laughs> I'm sure nobody's going to be able to hear us whatsoever. First of all, congratulations, man. You just took down one of the toughest players at ACL. Yeah, he beat me 21 0 in singles. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, is this not the first time you made it out of pool play? Is that what I heard? Yeah, it's the first time I made it out of pool play out of major. What a weekend, huh? You made, first time making it out of pool play, making it to this tournament, and then winning your first game against Austin Cameron. It's, yeah. It's almost like a fairy tale. You need to go For buy real. a lottery ticket is what you need to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm not old enough yet, but... Well, that wasn't... You didn't give... He didn't give that to you. You played great. I, the first half of that game, you nearly played perfect. Oh, well, I tried. Did uh, did some of the pressure once you got to that point start to weigh on you? I mean, you're not really used to playing in this this type of environment, right? With that kind of pressure. There's definitely a lot of pressure on those bags I threw short. I was just I'm like. Eh. <laughs> but you pulled yourself back out of it. I mean, the, the first half of it, you were laser focused. You could, you could tell a couple of those throws. Yeah. You, you, your your eyes started to, to swirl a little bit, but you pulled yourself right back into it. And that's a veteran move, man. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Game, Austin. Austin. What happened, man? I don't know. I mean, you're, you're obviously you still have all the support from from your SVC group. What ha he started off gangbuster. He started off throwing nearly every bag perfect on the board. Did that? Did, did, were you expecting that out of him? No, he's a good player, but my bags were kicking this. It is what it is. You, you kept on playing. You, there was, a, I mean, you get a big comeback. You know, you almost pulled yourself all the way back into it to win. It was a close game at the end, but he he took a, a big start off on you. Was that hard to chisel your way back yeah. to that point? Yeah, it really was. When someone starts hot hot off against you, it's hard to come back when they're uh, not missing a bag. But it wouldn't be the first time that you had to do something like that. No. But it just didn't work all, all the way through this time for you. I've seen it happen a million times for you. It just wasn't your day, man. Nope. Well, you go get him next time. Yep. All right, we'll see this guy run, I'm sure. Well, you know what? He took the singles championship over the course of the weekend here in Branson. He took the check for that, but it was not to be today. A guy that everybody, Cat, thought 
could take this entire $20,000 winner take all purse, but it just was it just was not to be. And this is going to be the one coming up, the final match to get to the quarterfinals. This is going to be a big one, and we're going to go definitely OG with the bags and the players. Congratulations. Truly a Cinderella story in the making, as they say, and in a ball gown taking him to the party that he had to borrow and get from somewhere else. Sebastian Barger, congratulations. He deserved every ounce of that win. He earned it for sure. Everyone thought Austin could take this one home today, and he's all on the way home. All right. Well, two of the biggest characters are getting ready to step up with Rich and finish it up now, brother. This is going to be a barn burner. Brother, this is going to be a...